Right, so we hit that like goal in episode two, so here we are for episode three of We Watch Nerds Go Speed Dating. Arthur Hill couldn't be here today, sadly, but I'm here with the rest of the boys. Yeah! Yes! And, of course, we're drinking. Although this time, I didn't plan it very well, so there are no known drinking games. It's another drink when Arthur tells you to. There's no known ones. <laughs> It's another secret one. You'll have to find out. I've got a funny joke about your intro, Arthur. That is also what's happened. What, what's said by the official at the start of a sewing, uh, a stitching competition. Right, so it. <laughs> That took so long to come out. Arthur knows all about taking ages to come out. Yeah, okay, <laughs> fantastic. Not going to happen. I love women. And speaking of women, first up is Nydia. Nydia P1, looks like she did well in qualifying. No, not this again. You need your own cues, you little unoriginal bastard. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but geeks turn me on. <laughs> Whoa. If anyone else feels the same, I like chess. I like animals. I no, no. Nydia. She's here at Sci-Fi Speed Dating, dressed as Chitara. Thundercats. Oh. I thought she was a Flintstone. A Flintstone. She can make my bed rock. Come on. My biggest challenge with dating is finding someone I click with. Do you see Marvel? I don't know. That's a really hard question. Okay, given we played this on the last one, drink if you date her. Marvel. <laughs> If he tips his fedora. That's not a fedora, it's a sun hat. <laughs> Sorry, hat police. Geek. Love. Sci-fi speed dating at New York Comic Con this year is an unstoppable force of nature. Geek's cool. There is nothing natural about this. One geek is awesome, but two together can conquer geek the square. world. Yeah, geek square. Yeah, Geek square. Looks really don't seem to matter here, I think. Vote Republican. Just flashing a little thing. Just dressing up but being like, just in case you weren't aware. Wait, was there a political message in there? Oh my god. That's Hellboy. Wait, that's a <laughs> That's clever. Is it because like he's a devil and he's saying the Republicans are devils? It's satire. It's satirical. Wow. We cover all on this channel. The comic card crowd understands that it's what's inside that counts. Look at us. We're just beautiful people. <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. Who's that TARDIS meant for? <laughs> Why is it so small? <laughs> it's Warwick Davis is the next Doctor. Yeah, but what, what you don't understand is yours. It's massive on the inside, though. Now, it's a good TARDIS, but is it tenable? <laughs> He has to pick up his screwdriver with two hands. Glasses are sexy, come on. Glasses are sexy. Exactly. God, he wasn't ready for that heckle, bless him. He dealt with it well. Over 18? Yes. Single? Yes. Looking for guys or girls? Guys. Over 18? Over 18? Leave. I just like the idea that he's actually trying to hit on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he's just getting... Over 18? Single? Okay, sweet, not you. They're like, yes, and he's moving on, moving down the queue. Damn it. <laughs> okay, sweet. We work together. Let us have a conversation. <laughs> I'm 20 years old. I'm a geek and I'm looking for love. I'm a bumblebee. <laughs> I'm a penguin. I've been Mario. Ooh. Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> Arthur TV! Wait, who's the Arthur TV? It's like you on Foot Asylum. Oh! You guys can recognize this guy. This is Toad. Hi! Toad! I like gnomes. Oh, she likes gnomes. Alex, you got a good chance with her then. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> it was the pause. It's actually made me cry. Oh, for the third time today. <laughs> I think guys would totally dig the fact that I play video games, but no luck. Go get the other side. I'm trying to. Okay. Have you been on any dates recently? My love life is pretty non-existent. All my friends are engaged or married right now, or have boyfriends, so I'm the only single one out of the bunch, yay. Oh, she speaks like she's high or very drunk. Yeah, you know I would like a guy who dressed up. I think that would be awesome, because, you know, I look for any excuse to wear costumes. I'm like, what, I know you have a hot dog. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna reuse any of my old costumes. Hi, I'm a hot dog. You wanna, wanna eat me? Give it wanna me? eat me? That was such a good impression of a hot dog. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. I love every good impression. Hi, I'm a hot dog. You wanna, wanna eat me? Wanna eat me? <laughs> <laughs> That sounds exactly like it. I know she said that she's a hot dog in the impression, but if she left that out, I would have still known that's what she was going for. That's how good it was. If she went like, Oh, I am Mario. Okay. <laughs> no, you're not. You're a fucking hot dog. 
<laughs> it's such a tight knit community, and when you find someone who's into what you're into, it's a wonderful thing. Geeks rule. Hey, if it's a tight knit community, I bet head life spreads quick. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the fans you get at New York Comic Con are all out, cocked, locked, and ready to rock. Sorry, did he say cock locked and ready to rock? Like they're all in chastity. Cocks out and ready to f more like. What was that offer? We're not just playing on after that, are we? Your little slogan. Wow, what's the. Look at that little. Hey guys, what is. Cocks out, ready to f. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you just did? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do the American thing. That's what Arthur does whenever he turns up at a party. <laughs> Cocks out, ready. Now it's like I'm Shermanator from America. American Pie. I'm a sophisticated sex robot sent back through time to change the future for one lucky lady. <laughs> Arthur, this is a dinner party with my parents. Cocks out ready to f okay. Hi, how are you? I love the costume. Very cool, very different. I think he just checked out her boobs and just didn't reply. Oh, he's writing down her number. Put some respect on his name. Oh, I didn't see he was looking at him. I was too busy looking at her tits. What was he looking at? I was distracted by something. Are you a big gamer? Pretty much. Okay, what system do you have? All of them? Okay, what's one of your favorite games? I can't tell you because, like, I want all games, so PC, console, I want them all. I can't hear sh What's he saying? Again, they don't do the lapel mics. It's all from the camera. It's so annoying in a massive room. No, what you don't understand is they are all lapel mic'd up. They just all talk really, really quietly. Yeah, they just mumble. What are you, Catwoman or some shit? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's so mean! That is negative Riz. We need to drink to negative Riz for that. So what the f*** is this sh That's class Riz. He's just straight at the point. So go on then, what the f*** are you dressed as? He's not dressed as anything. Do you reckon he does that when he's not at Comic Con as well? Just, what's that meant to be? A nice dress? <laughs> what the f*** are we even doing here? Is that a nice dress or some shit? What are you, Catwoman or some shit? She's tired from Thundercats. Oh, okay. Do you not know Thundercats? Yeah, I wasn't allowed to watch the No, I was the It's like he's just discovered swearing. What did he say there? I think he was like... I don't know what he was on about. She seemed to enjoy the session. She was kind of bubbly, having fun with it. Uh, didn't seem to be into that many guys. I'd say the other way around. It seems like the guys aren't into her. Is that Thundercats? Yes. Thundercats? Oh! Exactly. That's what people were telling me to say. Your best cartoons actually bring back memories. Yeah! <laughs> this guy just... He laughs at anything. I like this guy. I'd like having him around. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every group needs someone who laughs like this. I need to check the hard drive for this guy. No, don't be like that. He seems nice. The second someone's slightly off, one of us notoriously calls him. <laughs> has to call them a <laughs> That was nice. He, he was just... Cartoons make me remember things. <laughs> Jeez, I watched Scooby-Doo with Tom 85. I like Scooby-Doo. Oh, do you get it? No, oh, he's nice. Check the backup hard drive as well. Yeah. I'm a sucker for that. Yeah. Yeah. He's feeding you 24. Oh, I actually wanted to see the whole day. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hi. Number 12. Thank you. There's you. You too. Awesome. <laughs> I tend to be attracted to guys who have dark features and tattoos and piercings. I'm going to dress up as him tomorrow. So I dressed up. I'm so excited about that. Like a, big a big goomba, huh? A big goomba. Just a little sexy goomba walking in. <laughs> Mate, if you thought our hot dog impression was good. I am a mushroom. <laughs> Number 29, how are you? Nice to meet you. I, I, I did see the way you sat down. You like, you grabbed your seat, you sat down like you're like... Some of these nerds have some untapped potential. Like this guy, his hair wasn't so slicked and... Why'd you keep pointing out the guys for the untapped potential, Arthur? Because the girls just are fit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair. Fair enough. That goes without question. Or something you across you're like comfortable here <laughs> it is an interview isn't it so it's like name rank serial number give your resume and you know see if you can sweep her off her feet right it looks like ai patrick bateman yeah seems like a bit of an american psycho <laughs> <laughs> great hi how are you hi. number there you go oh. i'm gonna write thundercat shirt Oh, forget the shirt. This this is all you need right there. Whoa, bit forward. Forget the shirt. Whoa. Arthur gets run out of clubs for saying shit like that. Wow, That's you funny. are a hardcore fan. That is awesome. Anything else? Like the socks? Come on. Well, maybe the underwear, but you have to. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's hang on. No, oh, Anthony's P1 now. They both qualified at the exact same time that I guess was what's going on here. <laughs> oh 
Oh boy, are we gonna find a nice girl for you, Anson Eater? Yeah, skip, he's not getting date. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even fancy us betting on these because it was just a, it was a no-go from the beginning. They're that hopeless. The Anson Eater, he is a superhero EMT Taekwondo beast. I may be a superhero, but I'm still nervous. Geeks know who they are and they're cool with it. Oh, Sean Austin's here. Oh my God. It's Sean Austin! Oh, Sean Austin! Samwise Gamgee! It's Sean Austin from the E-Boys! Oh, sh- I bought a cameo for like 500 quid for an E-Boys video. <laughs> oh, if you paid it, it was a 500 quid cameo. Yes, and none of them knew who he was. What, they never seen Lord of the Rings or 50 First Dates? None of them had seen Lord of the Rings or Stranger Things. What, is he a hobbit? Yes, he was Sam. He's Samwise Gamgee, he's Frodo's best friend. Oh, no way! How did I not know that? Oh, Come on, man. He's the real hero of the trilogy. He is the real hero. I'm a Samwise Gamgee. Have you been dropping eaves? I haven't been dropping no eaves, to be honest. Oh, for 500 quid, I'd expect a happy ending at the end of it. What is it? 15 seconds for 500 quid. The worst prostitute ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was actually good. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, but mate, how can you f*** up a Kenny impression? It's like pretty f***ing easy to do. It was good. It's very hard to find someone that actually understands South Park humor especially. And then when I talked to them about Lord of the Rings, they were like, what kind of rings? What? Is that about the arsehole? That's what I'm thinking. I am Lord of the Ring. <laughs> When are they going to get their arseholes out? That's what I'm on about. Is this the first non-white person we've had so far? I don't know. I don't see colour. Yeah, I haven't been counting up. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. So that's four whites so far. I wonder we're going to get our first ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> Diversity, come on. <laughs> Speed dating in our world is different than the real world because at Comic Con, you're in a room with people who are all huge fans of. Is that fucking Optimus Prime? And the Penguin. And Charlie Chaplin. Wait, why the fuck is that? There. That's a name you can't say on YouTube, Arthur. 1939 man from Germany. You can't dress like that. I loved it when <laughs> for Optimus Prime. What a weird blunt rotation that is. Optimus Prime, a panda, and a not very popular dictator. What a trio. Something just like you, so there's that commonality that you can build from. In the outside world, I'm kind of more awkward. It's him again. Alex, you called him a <laughs> defender in the last video. He's a geek. No, not him. He's not a geek. <laughs> not him. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hard to meet people. Outside, you're pretty much, uh, quote unquote, a freak. But here, you can see the real person, the true person. Geek love. <laughs> All right, team. And this guy oh again. <laughs> oh. That lightsaber just is sick. Yes. Single? Yes. Guys or girls? Girls. Who the hell are you? Whoa. Just because he's not white, you can't say that, man. <laughs> George. I am a super EMT, and this is going to be awesome. I am a single man. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he so, like, unbothered? I'm Anthony, I'm 24, and I am an awkward geek. Because I'm an EMT, I have identifying patches on both sides. This is actually the universal sign for emergency medical services. And then below, I actually have my superpowers. One of my superpowers is CPR. That's not a superpower! <laughs> He's got badges for just things that people can normally do. Yeah, this is this was me at Scouts. <laughs> he watched that episode of The Office and watched a few YouTube tutorials. And one of my other superhero powers is Taekwondo, which I used to kick total ass. It's me, Taekwondo Boy. My superhero name is Antinator. It's my nickname, Ant, and Terminator from the Terminator movie. I'll be back. Oh my god. Terminator from Terminator movie. Oh, that one. He literally is the Shermanator from American Pie. No, he's the Anthony. -er. The things that I'm passionate about are definitely South Park, Lord of the Rings, and Mickey Mouse. Oh boy, we're gonna go to Comic-Con speed dating, and we're gonna have such a good time and find a nice Minnie Mouse. Why is he doing a Morsi impression when he's using Mickey Mouse? He just gets Mickey Mouse and goes, oh geez, I don't know, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> just got it all wrong. It's hard finding a genuine person that's passionate about similar things that I am. I'm hoping to find someone to actually love me as well as my fandom, which I can share with them, and then we can just be one big happy family.
I'm very passionate about South Park. Obviously, because I've got each and every one of them on my bed. I don't know if you can be passionate about that. No. Good show, man. They tackle a lot of controversial subjects where if you say you're passionate about it, I feel like <laughs> that automatically makes you a little bit questionable. I really resonate with the character Eric Cartman. Screw you guys! I'm going home. I have tried dating a few people in the fire department, but it went really, really bad, especially when they found out that I was really into South Park. And then when I talked to them about Lord of the Rings, they were like, what kind of rings? As if girls just haven't heard of Lord of the Rings. I feel like this is such a nerdy stereotype. Like, oh, they ask them about Lord of the Rings and they've never heard of it. Like, who hasn't heard of Lord of the Rings? Uh, what kind of rings? <laughs> That's them flirting. They're like, oh, what kind of rings did you see you're interested in? He was like, um, Lord of the Rings, the trilogy, have you never heard of it? And they're like, oh. So for speed dating, what kind of girl are you looking for? Girls think that it's actually adorable that I live with my mom. I am a sucker for the blondes, but yes. that doesn't mean that I'm gonna dismiss all the other ones. Ah, <laughs> look at that shot! Look at that! Oh, that's unreal! Oh my God! What's unreal? That shot, that's amazing, frame it! Taekwondo shot. I like the plastic over the sofas. This is actually what I was just gonna say. It's very American Psycho. So when he murders the women, he can just pull the plastic off, put it back on again. Also, it's stick to it with his cape on. I mean, that's his other superpower, just slight static electricity. The thing that I'm looking for at sci-fi speed dating is to find that damsel in distress that I will be her superhero and I will sweep her right off of her feet and then go on an awesome date. This guy gives me the same vibes of I'm Alex at 17 minutes into the last video. He just doesn't want to be here. You can just tell his, his <laughs> mind somewhere else. I was awesome at it at gunpoint. Maybe I had my cape for my taekwondo patch. I'd be a lot more comfortable. Ladies, <laughs> wait, and I have not drugged them. Good luck. What the? <laughs> oh, Zion. Did he drug them in the last episodes? I <laughs> this time it's a bit different, guys. Throwing a spanner in the works, they want to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Sci-fi speed dating is definitely going to spice up my my dating life. This is so not what I'm used to. Everybody excited? Oh, there's a fedora! Trick. You got nothing to be nervous about. I'm extremely nervous. I may be a superhero, but I'm still nervous. You're not a superhero, you're a paramedic. I would argue that paramedics are the real heroes. Uh, but they're not super is the point. They, yeah. Good luck. Awesome. 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 A little less pelvis thrust. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> you know when this guy is telling him to tone it down, that he needs to take it down a level. Uh, look, 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 a little bit like a geek there. <laughs> Might want to tone it down. He's got a fourth badge that's just homophobic. Three, two, one. Speed date. Oh, well, I am cosplaying as my own superhero. Because you're own superhero, yeah. the that is kind of cute. I actually do kind of rate it like being your own superhero. That's you know, kind of thing you grow out of when you're like six. Yeah, you've got to go. It's so recognisable, surely, right? Yeah. If you're going to go, it's anything at all. Mm. What did you go as to Comic-Con? I went as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Nice. <laughs> Aaron, the silence, the silence. I've I've sat here on purposely quiet in hopes that no, I don't get stuck in with these people. Yeah. Oh, you pronounced it correctly. Extra points. Yeah. It's not fucking hard, is it? Don't high fiver. How else is anyone pronouncing that? You're the A N T Z I N A T O R. <laughs> It's not an abbreviation, actually. It's just answer data. And TZ in a dirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually a super EMT. If you're trying to like figure out what, what the costume was, that's what it is. I am an actual superhero. I'm a real EMT, which makes it even better. I'm a real EMT. That's what this is for. I actually saved someone's life and I got an award for it. Oh, he's an actual EMT. Oh, I thought his name was Emmett. I'm a super EMT. Super EMT? Yeah. like, if I call 911, if I called 911 and he came, I would kill myself. Oh my god, Cam. He would 100% assume that that was racially motivated. No, Arthur, it's just the cape. It's just the cape. This guy rocks up and you just go, you've come, I'm killing myself. He's like, what have you based that on? The fucking cape, that's what I've based it on. Probably his cape. I don't think it, it jumped to his skin color. I was fine with the cape, but the skin color. Oh god, come on. Oh, you mean in this outfit? You meant in this outfit? I thought you meant in his normal EMT gear. Like, if this freak rocks up I was like because you imagine being the other four paramedics sat in the back of that van or you got somebody bleeding out on a table and then your mates <laughs> he's just running like <laughs> your mates sat there in his cape <laughs> they're driving to the hospital with a guy dying in the back and he's out the window going <laughs> 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 
<laughs> not, not only that, they'll all be on the exact same qualifications, the exact same abilities, and he'll be going, No, but I am the super EMT. <laughs> They're like, no, you're not. You're not, though, are you? We could all do the same stuff. If anything, mate, you're quite bad at CPR, so I don't know why you're, you're chatting shit like this. <laughs> What's your superpower? My superpowers are CPR and Taekwondo. You know, I always think it's the dumbest thing when someone says you could have any superpower, what would it be? The obvious one is shapeshifting. Yeah, shapeshifting has to be. Because if you shapeshift, you're a bird, you can fly. You can be invisible by being tiny. You can never grow old. You can swim in the sea. Any kind of superhero someone names, shapeshifting covers it. Exactly. You could be like, oh, yeah, but I, w I want to teleport. I'll be like, oh, cool, I'll shapeshift into a <laughs> Boeing, mate. I'll get there in no time at all. A Boeing! I love it. When you've almost a pink, pink aircraft, you've got a jumbo jet. Cam, aside shape shifting, what would you choose, Cam? Being able to bite through anything. <laughs> Can't you do that already, Cam? Have you been trying it? No, this is what happens when you have a failed attempt. Yeah, but we could just shape shift into a 6 9 He's got grills. We're about to bite through anything then. What would you want to bite through? I don't know. I just feel like if, if someone was just like, you can't bite through that. And I went, well, I can. <laughs> I just say that happens a lot in Newcastle. Oh, more often than you think. I tell you what, like, you can't bite through that. Oh, yeah? Well, I can. Chomp. Well, I wouldn't chomp the Tyne Bridge. Well, this bread's canny stale, like, I bet you can't eat it. Think again. So, favorite movie? The Matrix. Okay, that's one of my favorites, but it's not really, like, up there. My favorite's actually Lord of the Rings. Okay, well, that is a movie. No, what's your favorite movie? Oh, not one of my favorite movies. Mm, well, you got it wrong, unfortunately. My favorite's actually Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I also love Lord of the Rings. She just goes, what a ring. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can never escape it. He just office pans to the camera. Do you like Lord of the Rings? I do. Who's your favorite character? Mine is Gollum. Legolas? It sounds like a man who's run out of Lego. He's Legolas. How oh, real. How is Gollum your favorite character as well? Smeagol. Of all people. Do you like Lord of the Rings? Yes, I do like Lord of the Rings. Who's your favorite character? Um... Please say Gollum. Please say Gollum. Why is he begging? Say Gollum! Say Gollum! No bias whatsoever. Say Gollum! I bet you can't guess my name. It's George. It's George. It's George. My name's George. Hi. Anthony. Who are you? I'm actually my own superhero. Your own superhero? I'm my own superhero. I'm actually real, too. I have a thing for blondes. I don't know what it is, but it is my kryptonite. What's your favorite thing so far? Oh, you know, he's giving himself a kryptonite. His own superhero, he's giving himself a kryptonite. Wait, what did he say his kryptonite was? Blonde girls. Blonde girls. This girl is not even that blonde. Yeah, he's like, what's your kryptonite? And he's like, I have IBS. <laughs> and they're like, okay. <laughs> I have a peanut allergy. I've had an erectile dysfunction for the last five years. Uh, I got to hear Sean Astin, Sam from Lord of the Rings talk. Oh my yeah, God. There is extra points. Yeah. High five. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I was pretty excited. I love Lord of the Rings. My favorite character is Gollum. Gollum? Oh, I can see that. I can yeah. see that. Pretty damn enjoyable. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. Yes. Uh, and he just goes, yes, and shakes her hand and walks away. Just comes. <laughs> yes, that is a quote from that movie. Bye. Goodbye. Yes. I liked what he had to say, and I liked the idea behind the costume. And yeah, it was enjoyable to talk to him. Okay, ladies, I need you to stand up and go to that table and touch nothing. Gentlemen, stand up, go to that table and touch nothing, and then refocus on me. Oh, oh, an idiot's not done, uh, not great. Cheese fell off. Hopefully you've been keeping track of the people you liked on your scorecards. If you forgot to do that, you're screwed. <laughs> okay? Oops. I hope I get a perfect match. Me, whenever I go to light my birthday cake. <laughs> that is so bad, it's that unreal. That is fucking horrendous. <laughs> 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 oh god i'm actually just considering ending the video there just that's it the video just cuts like no one finds out i don't even know what that means that's the thing about that i don't actually know what that means a match like a matchbox and it lights <laughs> yeah that's class find your perfect match women oh hurry up this is a competition i think you're it yeah are you uh, yes. <laughs> But the guys she was interested in and the guys are interested in her, she had a few perfect matches. She chose somebody that 
didn't seem like what she'd be into at all. This guy's basically like a nerdy Paddy McGuinness, isn't he? This guy could be Clark Kent. Like, this guy could literally just go like that with his hair, take off his glasses, rip away from the Superman thing. Okay, don't know where this fancy's coming from. Calm down, Arthur. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> Especially, he ruffles his hair up, takes his glasses off, takes his trousers down, invites me back to his. He could be Clark Kent. I'm trying to remember where we left off. Yeah, I talked to so many people. Anybody else leave a lasting impression on you? Or, or, or a lasting depression, maybe? <laughs> Sarcastic, so we'll check it out. And he has glasses, so just turn on. So. Looks like she's got the same fungal infection as you, Alex. No, mine was actually worse. When you went along to Comic Con, where people were like, "Oh, you're one of those clickers," and then you put your costume on. Also, you can't call him that anymore, Arthur. That's actually racist. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, let's freaking connect right around the corner. Off yeah, I'm saying, I have your text number, right? No, I actually oh. just left my email address. <laughs> It's easier to block through email, not through the phone company. Oh. <laughs> God, this guy's a beacon of positivity, isn't he? Did he just say he was going to block her? I think so. It was a bit awkward for the first date, but he was really cool about it. I really appreciated that he was such a good sport about it. I don't know, I think he was trying to play it cool and be funny. I don't think she's feeling it. No. Her body was found six months later. I think he's really cute. I think he's funny and interesting, and he seems to totally have a lot in common as well. So. There is potential. I see myself hanging out with him. My geek love experience worked out well so far. There you go. So... So yeah, text me, call me. You totally up for it. I think that's really exciting. Yay! Oh wait, what about the catch-up thing? Oh, no f***ing cape, man, is it? Oh, Aunt Zilla, or what the f*** his name is? Aunt... Aunt... Aunt Zilla! <laughs> Aunt Superman. Aunt Dirk. Aunt Spider-Man. Nice, that's a good one. Aunt Hulk. Now, ladies, I hope you enjoy this part, because this is the only time in your life the guys will take longer than you to finish. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Bit of witty banter. But speak for yourself. I don't even get started. <laughs> yes, sprints, all of you. It's amazing. Run, make it look impressive. Hurry, girls, hurry. 30 seconds to sit in front of a perfect match. Oh, come on, someone sit for him. Oh, this is painful. He's literally his own superhero, his Anzinator, man. 25 seconds. Everybody that does not have somebody in front of them, please step out now. I appreciate it. I hope you had fun. Oh. Oh, God. He's just going to have to go home and use those gloves for the dishes. Or to wank himself off. <laughs> I was hoping I would get to hear my precious one more time. Even if it was just for that three minutes. For three minutes. The fact that I felt a real spark between certain people and they didn't feel the same way kind of maybe knocked down a few notches. I definitely feel a little discouraged, but at the same time, it's the same thing when I, when I fight, when I fight supervillains. When I can't succeed once, I just keep going again. What supervillain does he fight? Blocked airways? <laughs> you win again, brain aneurysm. <laughs> Auntie, 60 people have died under your watch. I've fallen for your plan once again, cardiac arrest. So I didn't get a perfect match, and I was a bit disappointed. But afterwards, I noticed I had a few numbers. And one girl loves South Park as much as I did. Her name is Sarah. And on our first date, we actually spent the entire time going back and forth with South Park quotes. And it was really fun. With South Park quotes, they were just both sat there like, you kill Kenny, you kill Kenny, you bastard. Yeah, but it's just, just never ending. He was just doing Kenny the whole time. <laughs> 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 She was like, oh, I love that one. Do it again. It feels amazing to actually meet someone they can share an intellectual connection with. Over South Park episodes. You have to be a very smart man. Yeah. It's like that generation's Rick and Morty. This was obviously like 15 years ago, so. It actually was, though. Uh, jeez, I don't know, Rick. Sci-fi speed dating definitely helped me increase my self-esteem. So I'm glad that I did it. <laughs> Who knows what the future could hold? Maybe girlfriend? Maybe even more. Who knows what the vision go? Maybe girlfriend? <laughs> it does speak like a superhero. Maybe girlfriend, maybe more. Well, on that delightful note, thank you everyone for joining. Smash like, and if we hit a million likes, we'll do Nerds Go Speed Dating episode four. A billion. A million? Yeah, get the hint, we don't want to know it. Thanks for watching, make sure you liked and subscribed, and see you next time. Bye.